few little bargains in Lidl. We got um, some uh, pasta for 90 cent and that's good till tomorrow. We've got two packets of sausages. Um, I'm gonna stick them in the freezer. And then some brioche. I got diced beef um, that will do a stew. I'm gonna put that in the freezer for 194. Um, I got a small chicken and that was two euros and 54 cents. I'm gonna cook that tonight from frozen. So kind of handy to have in the freezer. 150. Um, and then I got three of these pizzas. I personally prefer vegetarian pizzas. And these were one euro and two cents instead of 250 each. And then, so I got three of them and I got two of these and these were 120 instead of three euro. Yeah, so all of these things I can just throw into the freezer and they uh, will do another day. Um, except I'm gonna have the chicken now, I could have put it in the freezer. Um, and the only thing I'd say as well is just don't buy anything you wouldn't normally um, need or use. Um, just so that you're not wasting further um, your money and food. But yeah, apart from that, it's pretty good finds so today. I got some meatballs for one euro 25 cent. That's for 12. I got some chicken goujons for one euro 39. I got some fish goujons for two euros and nine cents. And I got some turkey breast stir fry for two euros and 30 cents. I'm gonna turn that into a turkey curry later. Um, I got some pancakes for one euro and four cents. Um, I normally wouldn't buy these, um, but because pancake day is coming up, I thought I'd just stick them in the freezer and the kids could bring them to school. And then I got two of the sharing bags. Um, go in the freezer too. Then I got, um, these chicken fillets, they're quite large. Um, they're bigger than my hand nearly. So I'm gonna divide them in half. That's probably too much for one meal. And that will be two dinners. Um, and I put it in the freezer so it's ready to go. And I'll probably make that into a dump meal. Um, and then I also got, I got these, four loaves of these. Um, the best before date isn't till the 18th, so two days away. And then our favorite bread, um, sorry, they were uh, 38 cent each instead of 75. And then I got our favorite bread. Um, this is really nice if you haven't tried it. And that was 50 cent instead of 99 cent. And that will go in the freezer. Hi guys, how's it going? It's Kaz here and I'm back with a video. And in today's video, I am going to talk about the highly, highly requested yellow sticker items. Um, so I'm going to share my tips and tricks and how I managed to find so many yellow sticker items. I am asked about this every time I show them. Um, so I just said I would put together all my tips and tricks in a video and then I could um, show you when you're looking to know exactly how to get these items. So just a little disclaimer before I go any further. Obviously, it depends on your location. It depends on availability. And obviously, these tips are only tips that will work sometimes. Um, unfortunately, it's just the nature of the game. Um, it is first see, first gets. And often, um, myself, when I go to look in the reduced sections, um, all of your sticker items are gone. Um, so yeah, I just said though, I would put together my tips and if you are lucky, you will be able to implement them. So first off, the first tip I would give you is to go when it is quieter. This is key. So personally, I find Wednesday is a magical day in the reduced section. I don't know what it is about Wednesday. I'm, I, I'm assuming that a lot of people get paid on Thursdays and Fridays. So that might be a good reason why it's quieter. Child benefit comes out on the first Tuesday. So avoid that day at all costs. And at the weekend, a lot of people are going in and out of the shops and will tend to pick them up. So Wednesday seems to be the best day to pick up reduced sticker items, in my opinion. 
Another thing that I do when I'm going to pick up reduced sticker items is pick a time when it is quieter in the actual shop. So, for example, I find around six, seven o'clock is a great time because most people are in getting their dinner. Um, so when you go around six, seven o'clock, um, the rush after work has often left and people are home eating their dinner. And often at that time, they are further reducing items. So that's a brilliant time to go in. Another tip that I would say is to actually go and ask the staff. So I've done this in a few different shops. I've just asked the staff, when do you reduce the items? When do you see the largest amount of items left at the end of the day that haven't sold? And when is the best time to get the further reductions? So the time when it goes from 30% off to 75% off. When is the best time for that? And when do you actually start marking those stickers? The ideal time is to arrive around the exact time that they are actually physically marking those stickers down. If you know that the time that they are further reducing the stickers at, you can actually take the item before the sticker has been put on it and go to the till and ask them will they match the sticker that was about to be put on. Now this isn't guaranteed, but in some shops they have sometimes done this. Another tip that I would give you is if you are looking for a particular item, for example, a large joint of meat, Keep an eye on the dates, on the best before dates, in the days coming up to when you're going to go look for reduced items. Because you may find that that item becomes reduced. Another tip I'd give you is to check the items before you put them in your basket and make sure that they can be frozen. Because you don't want to bring that item home and then be throwing it out because you're not going to use it. In an ideal scenario, you want all of the items that you're buying to either be used that day or to be frozen. And that's what I do. I either use an item immediately that day or I freeze it and then follow the freezer guidelines for defrosting. They're all written on the packet and there's no reason to feel worried about this. It's a good idea to save a little bit in your budget just for reduced items. I don't know how many times I've seen an amazing reduced section and just haven't had the finances to take the stuff with me. Just keep a little bit of money aside just for the reduced section and you can use that budget in the coming weeks and months. So what items do I typically look for in the reduced section? Well, I typically buy as much meat as I can from the reduced section. Sometimes this is 30 to 75% of a reduction. So it's an absolutely massive reduction to make if you can find it in the reduced section. I will then put it in the freezer or use it that day. Then I also look for any fruit and veg. Um, a lot of it isn't even ripe and it is in the reduced section. Have a look at it, use your eyes. Make sure that the fruit and veg is perfectly fine to eat. A lot of the time it's visually fine. So then go for it. Sometimes I buy perfectly fine pears, apples, uh, potatoes, all sorts of root vegetables in the reduced section. Sometimes we even take these vegetables and we buy them for our chickens. Another thing that I like to buy is a lot of breaded goods. I can take these and put them in the freezer and then take them out when we need them. Things like butter, yogurts, cheeses can also all be frozen. Another tip I would have is to know where a shop puts their reduced items and know where to find it. So then you're not walking around the whole shop looking for the reduced items. For example, in my local Tesco's, I know that there is three reduced sections. In my local Lidl, I know that there is one reduced section. And in my local Aldi, I know that there is one reduced section and then they also put the reduced items throughout the store. So just know where to find your reduced items and then you won't be looking all over the place for them when you're going in. And then finally, sometimes I get some of the convenience foods um, and put them in the freezer too. And that means that we have food set aside for when we need food in a pinch and we have no time. Remember, there is no shame in buying reduced items. You are reducing waste 
for the planet these items are just going to be thrown in the bin and you might as well get value for money and also help your food budget while you're at it so that's my tips for buying reduced sticker items. I hope you found them really helpful. If you have any more tips on finding and using reduced sticker items, please leave them below because the more help in this subject, the better. And we all love a good bargain here. And remember, there's no shame from buying from the reduced section. You are stopping food waste, you're helping your family's budget, and you are combating the cost of living crisis. So yeah, let me know if you have any of your own tips below and I will chat to you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.